Hello everybody, welcome back. I am the Dependent Fanatic. Welcome to the channel if you are new. If you are returning, thank you for coming back. I'm excited to see you again. Today is kind of a uh, different topic. A lot of people are thinking that Michigan is just going to disappear, poof, gone after this season, like they're going to be trash uh, after all of these uh, NFL, all this NFL talent goes to the NFL. And I, I just, I'm kind of sick of it <laughs> as a Michigan fan, Ohio State fan, Michigan fans, even Michigan fans are think this and are saying this. Now, when they say national championship or bust, I tend to agree. I think this is Michigan's best chance at a national championship in a very, very long time. Uh, and next year won't be as good of a chance, but there still will be a chance. And I'm going to try and persuade some of you that that is true. First of all, I believe Michigan will win the national championship this year. I had a prediction video in the preseason. You can go watch that if you want to uh, in a card. But it, it's because of Har if Harbaugh stays... I think he w I think he will. I think he'll sign this contract. We'll get it done. All three coordinators signed three-year deals before this season. So if all that is intact, uh, coming back for next season, watch out right there. But second, Michigan has a development program in that Michigan gets the diamonds in the rough. Uh, it's They do. They just do. And then they develop people. They develop those diamonds. That They get the three and four stars that don't want money up front, and they develop them year after year after year to where every senior and junior that stays is a grown man. And, you know, those who stay, right? Those who stay will be champions. Well, they have been for a while now, the last two years, probably three after this season. They get the three stars and four stars. And it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt Michigan. I don't understand this. We have to NIL. NIL is used in different ways. Michigan has the one more year fund where they get the seniors or juniors that are wanting to go pro to come back if they're good. They proved themselves and we will pay you to come back. And we will get transfers that have proved themselves on other teams to come here and fill holes. So I love how Michigan does that. I love the recruiting. I love the NIL. I'm sorry. I just love it. Two straight wins over Ohio State and two Big Ten titles doing it this way. Uh, that's a pretty good track record. Um, five plus players go to the NFL every year under Harbaugh, and that number has been growing um, Herbert develops these guys, Ben Herbert. He's amazing. That's one of the coordinators. He's making a million dollars as a strength and conditioning coach. One of two in the nation that make a million dollars. Aiden Hitch Hutchinson is gone. No problem. Enter Ojabo and Morris. Ojabo and Morris is gone. No problem. Enter Josiah Stewart, McGregor, Harrell, etc. It keeps growing. It's like you cut off a head. They multiply. All these young players that are on the team right now got it. Well, they are getting playing time because of all these blowouts that Michigan is producing, but they will have no problem. I, I promise you. There's a reason we all love Ben Herbert. Michigan doesn't rely on NFL talent. They produce it. They do not go get the best NFL capable ready freshmen and pay them and Let's see what you can do. No. No, they get the freshmen that will fit the system, and they make they turn them into NFL players. Um, instead of focusing on what Michigan loses, I think you should look at what will be back next season. This is what this video is about. Uh, I'll talk about the biggest fish here uh, that could come back at the end, but and there are a lot, tons. Um so many sophomores, so many juniors but I, and seniors, but I'm going to, that could come back. But I'm going to give you a few names here and see if it wets your whistle. 
Darius Clemens, Amorian Walker, Will Johnson, Keon Sab, Jaden Denegal, Derek Moore, Tyler Morris, Alex Orgy, Ernest Hausman, the transfer from Nebraska, Colston Loveland, Mason Graham, Kenneth Grant. They're all sophomores. They have to be back next season. They are all going to be here next season. And then uh, at junior, uh, juniors on the team that probably are going to come back, names are Josiah Stewart, Donovan Edwards. You know, he hasn't performed. He's probably going to be back. Jaden McBurrows, Tavier Dunlap, Rayshon Benny, Max Bredesen, Greg Crippen, Kayshawn Bennett, Gio Al-Hadi, Peyton O'Leary, people who are waiting their turn to step in. People don't like to hear it, but you can reload two different ways with freshmen, five stars, excuse me, or juniors that have been in the system and have been developed by Ben Herbert. And then, like I said, in both classes, there's more seniors, uh, you know, Kalel Mullings, can he come back? Jake Thaw, Jalen Harrell. Jeff Percy, Iman Dennis, Matt Hibner, Cornelius Johnson, uh, Trent A. Jones, Cam Good. Eligibility is a question for some of these players, but I don't think they're going to go to the NFL, and maybe that one-year fun can get them to come back. None of this includes the freshman class on the team or future recruiting classes. Michigan has been excellent in the portal as well, so... Slow your roll. Slow down for next year. Let's focus on this year. Michigan's going to win the title this year, and we're going to have a very, very good team next season. Now, the biggest fish that we all have to talk about is uh, J.J. McCarthy. Could he come back? Uh, I, he could come back for his degree and get that one, one more fun NIL money. Uh, while watching Caleb Williams, Michael Pennis, Drake May, etc., all go pro, he, you know, they're probably going to go pro ahead of him. And then guess what? J.J. could go number one overall next draft cycle after winning another national championship and getting his degree and be a fan, fan favorite for until the end of time and be a legend here at Michigan. What would you do? I don't think he needs the money. I think he comes from a well-off family. You know, get your degree. Who knows? Get the Heisman next season. So, you know, it doesn't hinge on him. We got Denegal. We got Jaden Davis. Uh, Bryce Underwood, possibly, I hope so, comes in and ha has to compete uh, versus some of these guys. That's what this is. Michigan is a place where you go to compete, not just to uh, win the job willy-nilly because you're a five-star and you're getting paid so the coach feels like he has to play you. No, you got to earn your time here. And that's what I love. So you guys can all be scared. I'm looking forward to it. But this season first, <laughs> go blue, everybody. <laughs>